back to midday. We are at Carla Pierce's beautiful house in the back garden today, and we're making some very decorative cement molds. It's great to have you back on the show, Carla. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks yeah. for coming by. It's great to have it be by, and the weather's so beautiful, and we're surrounded by all these gorgeous flowers, so thank you for having us. Oh, thank you. Um, this is a, a real easy project I've set up for us today, and it's really fun. Anyone can do it. Um, you, you get a mold either on Online or at one of the craft stores and you can make some really cool objects with it so this is this is some, what the mold looks like on the inside and that's hopefully what you're gonna get on the outside mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. this Sun and Moon design and these they range in price you can go on eBay sometimes they're about $40 sometimes you can get a good deal 10 bucks you know per per mold and they last mm -hmm. for about 30 30 uh, different uh, molds in it okay and then you you uh, you start with a the Pam, you spray it down and you mix up your concrete and I use a uh, sand topping mix because you get more detail with that than the regular concrete which has rocks in it and the sand you get better you better results. Um, and then and then you just pour it in and it will look something like that. And if you don't use the Pam it will generally stick to it the sticks. mold. It sticks and then okay. and then sometimes it breaks when it falls out. Right and that's no fun. And that's no good. That's so, no good. So uh, I've put a hook into it and you have to do the hook while it's wet. You cannot put a hook onto the back of a concrete piece after it's dry. It'll fall off. It'll fall off the wall. So you got to remember to put that in while it's still wet. Wait a good two days and then and then it comes out. That out easily. The, that it does with the Pam. Or, or you can use Vaseline too, and it comes out just like that, okay. and it's no problem. That is beautiful. It, it is, and this is a, a newer one, and it's still a little soft on the inside, and so it's good mm -hmm. to just let them lay out a little bit, even for another day. If you're making stepping stones too, they'll break really easily, so give them a while to completely set up. Mm -hmm. So, and then once you've uh, you've got it all nice and dry, you can paint it, and you end up something. Well, this is one that I've finished. And I love this shape, nice and um, um, old looking, you know, we've got a bit of a nice finish there, something you might find on a beach like a million years ago, right. running around. Yeah. Yes. I don't know, I just, I love the spiral, but this is just acrylic, and then I put a glaze on it afterwards, which I use a, a spray varnish, but you can also paint on something like this one here, which is an acrylic clear. Mm. And either way, and that protects it, because the concrete underneath is actually, it feels hard, but it can be quite soft sometimes. Okay. So this gives it just a nice finish, and you can hang it on your wall. Nice. Or hang it outside. You need an anchor if you put it inside. Okay, because they're heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or you can just lay it in your garden. I mean, these are fun, they're inexpensive, bag of concrete's about fourteen dollars right so it's not you can you can get about four or five of these with that that's pretty good that is that's yeah. pretty good bang for your buck yeah so we've got so. these finished guys here this is our sun and our moon motif and and they're <laughs> they're cute um, but once you get the color on them, you're going to be able to see them a lot better. Right, you can see all the different designs that are within the picture. Yeah. Very good. And so you can just basically paint them whatever you want. And then uh, mm -hmm. once you put the varnish on the end, you have to like cook them or anything or it just dries? No, it air dries. And there's different, there's so many different types of varnishes out there that uh, I, I like the spray one myself, but you know, painting it on is good too. And um, there's also the, the older ones, um, Del Mar varnish and these kinds of varnishes mm -hmm. that do take longer to cure. Mm -hmm. But uh, honestly, over the years, I haven't been able to tell much of a difference with them. Okay. Yeah, I just went for the, the <laughs> yellow right away with uh, Mr. Sunny Face. Mm -hmm. it, just seem, it just seems like a, a, a warm day. You'll find when you're painting these on that there's going to be a few bubbles and things that that have happened in the process um, of the concrete drying up. And I have never, ever been able to get it perfect where there's no bubbles. I, I don't know how you do it. I, sh I give it a good shake. Mm -hmm. I suspect that you probably need some kind of mechanical tool, shaker on it to mm. shake out all of right. the bubbles. So if you if they bug you, these little, these little pothole marks, um, you can fill them with a little bit of polyfill before you paint. Okay. But what I've 
they don't actually bother me that much. I just tend to fill them up with the paint itself. Right. And uh, I think it looks good because it is what it is. It's a, it's a concrete either stepping stone or wall plaque or garden decoration. It doesn't need to be perfect, right? I don't it's think, more rustic. I think the more rustic, think the better. So. I mean, that's, that's how I feel too. I like things in the garden to have a, a nice organic feel to them. Exactly. Well said. And you can play around with this quite a bit. And it's, it's good for kids and, and um, really anyone. Nice outdoor craft. Susan, do you have a garden going this year? I do. It's not complicated. A lot of annuals mm -hmm. and some perennials. Nice. And uh, I don't like working in it when it's super hot out, though. I wait no. until the end of the day or when things cool down a bit, for sure. Absolutely. I, I don't work too much in it anymore like I get it going in the spring sure and then I move on to other things like playing around with concrete right now is, right and is, adding to it yeah and, and adding, adding to, the to it yeah exactly um, I'm not too good at weeding it was funny my oh, sister's like oh I don't want a garden because I don't want to weed mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and I'm like really I I, I, I don't weed I think <laughs> you just let it be natural. Just, but it's yes. all green. I just let it happen. I know. Your garden looks lovely, though. Amazing you should Thank say that. You. Because there's not a lot of weeds in it. And Carla has a new addition to her uh, fountain. Uh, you have a pond. It has a little froggy in it on one of the lily pads and it's like super small it's like that big but it moved so we know it's alive <laughs> we saw it move we saw it move um but yeah that's kind of neat you know it's a good place for a home when the uh, creatures start appearing right and i have no idea how it got there that's yeah. that's the crazy thing how does a frog get Show to up. A, yeah like just out mm. of the blue like that i don't know Obviously, it's a compliment to your good hospitality because it hasn't left. It's funny. I think, you know, maybe it fell out of the sky. This is a perfect thing to put on a cabin door or the door of your house yes. or, or anything like yes. that because it's really got that nice uh, homey feel to them. Yeah, absolutely. Or just in the garden. Or in the garden, for sure. And any age group can do this. I'm thinking of my daughter. She's mm -hmm. seven. She would love this. Absolutely. She would love it. It's easy. It is. It and it is. doesn't have to take long. No. And these these molds here, you can also do plaster if you don't want to bother with all the concrete. Right. Um, and you get very nice results with plaster mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. They're a little lighter as... Uh, when you have the plaster in them right. compared to the concrete. Mm -hmm. But they're also a little more fragile. Uh, the plaster has some way of um, soaking up water more right. than uh, concrete does. So if you put a plaster mold outside, then what happens is it, it, it just drinks all that moisture up and it eventually falls apart where the concrete stays together for a longer period of time. Very cool. Yeah, but they break down too. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think that a concrete uh, mold or sculpture will will stay good for a very long time. It and doesn't. They, and they actually like they how don't. long would this last? This one, well, you know, because we're painting it, I think it'll last a little bit longer. Right. But, but five to ten years, that's it. <gasps> Is that right? You <laughs> yeah, would think it would be longer? They actually kind of fall apart unless you put it someplace where it's very protected that looks gorgeous i didn't do a lot to it you added colors to yours but mine great. mine is not like mixed with different colors i just did one color in each part but mm -hmm. uh, i like it it's very pretty it is they are beautiful and you can you can uh change it up and really do anything that you like with mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. yes this my my guy's a bit windy <laughs> No, it's lovely. I like how you change the colors. You've um, mixed colors together, and I like that. It looks good. It's fun, and there's no end to these. You can keep painting them all day long, yeah, um, yeah. especially out here, because the paint dries so fast yes. with the uh, with the sun and the heat. And uh, um, I've done plein air paintings where the, it's it's so hot outside that the paint is literally sticking right onto the canvas I as you put in it on. Weather. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to do in the shade for sure. All right. Awesome. We've got some happy suns and We do have happy suns. Happening. We should probably call the end of the segment now, yes? Okay. If people would like to get a, heart, a hold of you, Carla, how can they do that? Oh, well, I have a website, carlapiercegallery.com, um, or you can email me at art at carlapierce.com. Fantastic. Yeah. You always have such great outdoor creative ideas. Thank you They're for having fun. us here today. Thank you. Yeah, your, your garden's beautiful. It's just lovely to be here. 
Thank you. Fantastic. All right, we're going to finish these off. Uh, but yeah, the results are looking good. We just have to hit the varnish and they'll be ready to go. We will take a quick break. More midday in two minutes. Stay with us. It's got me singing, hey, hey, hey.